Hey everybody, today we're gonna see how we can enhance our gear reviews videos or any kind of video using callouts. And more specifically, we will see the callout pop plugin from FX Factory. Before starting with the tutorial, I wanna say a huge thank you to each and every one of you who have already subscribed to my channel. And by the way, if you haven't subscribed, click right now, it's uh, down here, the subscribe button, and also ring the notification bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. You will find in the description of this video down below a coupon code. The coupon code is gonna be Emilio to get 10% off your purchase of the Call Out Pop plugin from FX Factory. So let's go into Final Cut Pro 10 and see the plugin in action. So let's start and see how we can install the Call Out Pop plugin from FX Factory. As soon as we download the FX Factory app, we will see a window like the one that you're watching right now we will go to the call out pop. We can download the trial first so we can try it out to see, you know, if it meets our needs and then we can proceed with the purchase. As soon as we have completed the purchase, we will go into Final Cut Pro 10 and we're gonna do the example that you saw in the intro, one of them. We're not gonna do all of them for the purposes of time. And under the titles, you will see the call out pop folder which will contain all the call-out pops that we can use for our video. So let's go, let's see the footage here. Okay, and let's go and select one of them. Let's go with this one. I'm gonna drag it and place it above the clip. Simply as that. Okay, now, as we have this selected, let me just disable this. And also remember that since we are here, we have plenty 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 of different options that we can choose for the call out pops we have 30 choices and as i'm scrolling over you will see that we have the option to have an image or a video we have the option for colorized uh, text and backgrounds and uh, shapes that all as you can see here in the inspector panel are adjustable we can adjust all the colors all the fonts all the sizes everything on the call out pops Okay, so I'm closing it and let's go into the beginning. I have this selected and I have, first of all, this square here, which is going to be the portion that we're going to track. And here is the title position. So I'm going to drag this, place it here for the title and I'm going to select this and place it where I want it to track. So let's say I want to track this lens here i'm making sure that i'm in the start of the video okay and then i'm going here on the inspector panel and i'm pressing next to object tracker the track forward button you will see a new video is gonna pop up and the track is gonna start and as soon as the tracking has been completed let's play and see what the first result is gonna look Okay, now, first impressions here, we did it a little bit too far, so we can drag the here the title, as you can see. Okay, let's see. You see it automatically adjusts all the different sizes. Now, let's go and see how we can edit the actual title and subtitle on the callout. We will click here. And we can see that we can select all the fonts and necessary things here, but what I suggest for you to do, it's even easier that way. I'm going to go and click on edit your title here and I'm going to write per gear. Okay. And then I'm going to click here. 35 millimeter 1.6 lens. Okay. So now from here, I can go and change the font. So let's go and select a different phone for here. Also, let's change the phone here as well. From here, I can adjust the size. Perfect. And also, if I wanted to have uh, a different weight, like light, bold, and the line spacing, the tracking, the baseline, everything by have this selecting, we can change all the different settings that we have for the fonts. 
okay? And also we can um, add a drop shadow, we can add outline, we can add glow, all the basic stuff that you do with text. Let me just select this as well, add some shadow to separate it, perfect. And now if I go back again here, I can see that I can select the built-in, build out, that means that with a built-in selected it's gonna have an introduction like a fade or the animation to create the call out pop. With the build out I'm gonna have an outro animation. Also I can flip it, the title, I can select to have only title and not the line and on the track we can track the line or we can track all of it. So if I track all of it you will see that it will track also the whole title and not only the line, okay? Let's go with track line only and also we can change the color of the line. So for example, if I click here and I select the black, I can make the line be black. I'm going to keep it white. Also, we can have a drop shadow. Let me just fit the screen now. We can have a drop shadow to all the elements. So for example, I can make a distance here. You will see the opacity to everything that I have selected. You see? everything has a shadow, okay? And also I can adjust the position of the title here, rotation and all the other amazing stuff. So let's go and play and see how it will look like. Perfect, now, if I select this and uh, I'm gonna track all now and not only the line, let's see the difference in the video. So you see, the title also is trackable. And if you see that it's a little bit sensitive, it's moving, we can go here and click and create some smooth. So we can set the smoothing low, medium, high. So if I set it to low, we're going to see that it's going to be a little bit more smooth on the tracking. So I recommend between low or medium to do your trackings. And lastly, if I don't want the initial spot here to be in the center, as I made initially where I was tracking the lens, I can change, as you can see here, the point, right? And I can see it more clearly if I go to the center, okay? So I can change the point, all right? I'm not gonna have the trackable change, but only the point. And if I go to the beginning, you will see that I change where the tracking point starts of the call out pop. And of course, as we said in the beginning, if I turn off the build out, it's not gonna have a build out. And if I turn on the build out and the build in, everything is gonna be trackable from the beginning and I can have only the build in. Remember, again, that you can use the coupon code EMILIO and get 10% off your purchase of this plugin. I hope you found this video helpful and you learned something new today. And if you have any questions or you just want to say hi, I'm waiting you in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'm EMILIO Takas and I will see you in the next video. Yahara! Yeah,